We normally see what is shown on TV, right? Which is everybody's in this big room, sitting in chairs with machines hooked up to them, right? Old school stuff, I guess. I walked in here and we have our own cubicles and I'm like, oh, this is pretty cool. The first initial thought, my husband said, you're going to Queens. I'm already stressed out. I don't want to be stressed out even more. So I said, no, I'm just going to stay here. And he's like, but I want you to get the best care. And I said, no, I'm not going. I'd rather be here and have more time at home with my family than the transport back and forth. So, you know, he was even like, oh, let's go to Waimea. And I was like, no, I'm going to feel so sick in that car ride and everything. Like, I don't want to have to worry about the driving with her. I'm glad that I chose to stay. And I tell everybody, like, don't, don't go, stay here. Hi, I'm Sheena. I'm the nurse navigator here at the East Hawaii Health Cancer Center. Not a lot of people know what a nurse navigator is. So my main job is to help coordinate care for patients, their families, whether it be for medications, referrals, um, to the mainland, to Oahu, transportation, if they need assistance to transportation, if that's one of the barriers that they may have. A lot of patients can't afford their medications. So I look for foundations, grants, um, even through the drug companies to even see if we could get either a copay assistance or even the medication for free. Shana, uh, from day one, you know, and she's like getting um, paperwork for like my TDI you know, or my workplace and stuff like that. My gosh, she went above and beyond, if you ask me. I'll get it, I'll fax it to them, or I'll email it to them. Amazing. I do think that it's the people who work here. I know it sounds ironic, but after I was done, I did really miss coming here. They're wonderful, wonderful people here. It takes a special person to work at oncology. <laughs> Every single one of them, amazing. It was to the point where I didn't care who I had when I came in. Talking stories, they put the IV thing in, and. I mean, you don't feel nothing and you know, it's just very comfortable and they make sure you got everything you need. I feel like this year just like zoom past. It means a lot to help these patients. Being that extra voice or extra person to help coordinate their care, to advocate for them. So their process through this cancer journey goes smoothly. Just to be an ear, a lot of people just want somebody to talk to, to understand what the process is. Just talking to a couple other people who were like, they have family members that are gonna have to start chemo and stuff like that. And I said, you know, we actually have a good cancer center. I said, for me, they were excellent. From when you walk in that door, the staff, the doctors, the nurses, everybody here is very welcoming. You gotta have faith because that's what carried me through the whole thing. And a good support system, obviously. My family, thank you guys, this, you guys were the bomb. I highly recommend cancer thrivers to come to East Hawaii Health Cancer Center. You won't be disappointed. American Cancer Society has helped our clinic, our patients, by providing support for them. I do utilize them a lot for transportation through their Road to Recovery program. Thank you, American Cancer Society, for helping our clinic, our patients, and our community throughout the years. Thank you, American Cancer Society, for all that you do and your continued support. I would also like to thank you for the $10,000 grant that you've provided to get our patients to and from treatment. Mahalo. Mahalo.